Paper Mario time. I never once started it. I, I was like, I was wondering, because this is my old Wii, so if I ever started the game and made a file, it should be here. Never once did. <laughs> It me. So happy. Got it for out about it right away? No, a lot of it was like I got it and then I just, I don't really know why. I think it was because it's like, hey, I emulated this on school computers. Let me buy it. And then I just didn't. Is there more bon I'm just gonna attribute that to a cutscene. I was like, what's this? <laughs> Spent all that time, what the fuck is this? Mail call. Well, it's probably also one of those things like, the Wii shop has so much shovelware, and then I was gifted like a Wii gift card is like, what the fuck am I gonna buy with this? Oh, I guess I'll buy actual vi video games. Uh, and not chicken shoot. And Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. Throwing a party at my castle, Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Chicken what now? Chicken shoot. It's duck hunt, but worse. <laughs> Like duck hunt, yeah, with motion controls, cause of the Wii. It was twenty dollars new at Target. What are you, Castle? Ever get used to this place? It looks, uh, looks like lots of guests are already here. That toad has a spear. Good lord. Oh, am I supposed to be moving? Oh. I saw the toad moving. I thought it was just a really slow cutscene. Hi. Oh, this castle absolute. Oh, uh, I wish I could stay here forever at Peach's Castle. I like you. So I'm curious. I don't. I wonder how much of this... No, it looks too nice. Let's say. Never mind. Like, is this potentially reused from Mario 64? No. It's a different layout. Mouse friend. I'm a nomad mouse and I come from Dry Dry Desert. Everyone I've met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. On behalf of lovely Shiver City, I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time! I have to go shopping for souvenirs with frost tea. I'm with the hat, I love him. I think this game allows you to read text you miss with, like, uh... I mean, I could just talk to him again, I'm sure, but just in general, uh... Maybe it has to... Basically scroll up the text box. 
Oh, he, he, okay, he doesn't have multiple. We'll try it with, uh... Someone who actually speaks. They do an L. Yeah, the old one. Yeah. I really saw this. Everyone is playing Origami King these days. I haven't played Paper Mario since 3DS. I don't want to bring that up. <laughs> I'll have my fair share of headaches doing all this. Um, but I never. I've only finished two Paper Marios in my life. Uh, both of and I've played four. I think. 64, Thousand Year, Super Paper, Sticker. Yeah, I never played Color Splash, and then Origami King just came out. So I played the first four. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet, thank you. I was just resting for a bit. It gets tiring reading all those guests out there. Reading all, okay. Trying to see, like, scrolled, and I don't know. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Ah, wait, I don't, okay, what button did I press? L, okay. We found it. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? I was like, yeah, uh, I never got very far in this, because it was pretty much, the way my middle school computers work is everything you did was erased next time you log in. So I downloaded it, played for 30 minutes, and that's it. <laughs> Just over and over. Super Paper Mario, I got to the final boss door, and then... I was like, yeah, I'll beat it tomorrow. And I never turned the game back on. <laughs> and Thousand Year Door, I'm pretty positive I beat it, but it's been such a long time, I don't remember a damn thing about it. Are you all right, Mario? What in the world is that? Oh my, look, Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Hey, that's the background I just took. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. No, sir, but this can't be. It was you who made the crown shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Yeah, that was me. I lifted your castle up into the sky. Sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ah, oh, this castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. Ah, huh, not really. I expect you to turn up. Right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I have had my problems in the past, but this time it's different. This time I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy, let's go. Alright, the battle tutorial. It's been forever. Mario, you can do it. All right, all right, this is tense. How much damage? A one, okay. <laughs> Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn on my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. Give that back to Kirby. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. One damage punch, but he's a baby Italian. <laughs> and when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. How do you like that, Mario? Oh, fuck. Three damage. 
Danger! Is that all you've got? How sad! You must take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Damn. Yup, just as I expected, Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh, damn. Instant death, 10 damage. Yup. Oh, no, Mario, get up. Yeah, so yeah, I did it. I finally did. I beat my old rival, Mario. Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. What if you hack in 50 HP on Mario? I don't know. Someone's probably done it with as much like hacking as there is in in Mario's. Like Pharaoh's mentioned in Strider videos. I don't know how much he does with 64. I know he's done weird shit with Thousand Year Door. It's soft locks. I was like, I would imagine that or it's scripted to just you'll take 10 damage and it'll still end. And fun fact, if you hack the game to win this fight somehow, it doesn't really know what to do. Understandable. There's a lot of stuff on 64. The only time he's ever been in my, like, recommended or whatever has been with Thousand Year Door stuff. Right. You think Mario made a paper? Yeah. Star people? Oh man. That one with the glasses? The one with a hat too. Those two are good. Oh man. <laughs> Please don't speak in fucking TV static. And Kevin's been great. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. Oh, your fun say that's what I'm saying. I was like, Jesus. Uh, Bowser has See, if if I wasn't playing on the Wii U right now and this was an emulator, I would have expected I would've assumed this was a glitch, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it's fully intentional. Bowser's a star rod, now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless, all is lost. Everybody just calm down, as long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Our fates are in Mario's hands, we must try to revive him. Gather around everyone, send Mario your power. Oh, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please, get up. Please! That's one of the GameCube Mario parties. Are they in a Mario party? I didn't recognize any of them. But my memory sucks, so... <laughs> at least sounded like something fell around here. Oh, who could that be? Mario Party 5. Huh. The red shirt, that hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. I couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up. Come on. Up and at him. Oh, no, you won't wake up. Millennium Star Dude from 3. I don't think I've ever played 3. Hey, those are only in 5. Huh. Uh, what am I gonna do? Dad, Goompa, Goombario, 
What? Oh wait, I have vague memories of a Goombario. For some reason. <laughs> Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a ship spirit. Or a star... The word ship isn't even in here. A star spirit! I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need you to come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Chip Star, yeah. Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days! Everyone's been working, worried sick! This place, this is Gooba Village, a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and single family of Goombas. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folk you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh, a star with a mustache. You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that, and I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream. Well, maybe not. I could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Only six of the seven star pillars are in five? Okay. I mean, we kind of murder Goombas all the time. You sure they wouldn't want revenge? Potentially. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. Uh oh, shit. It's free to come anytime you get tired. A good nap will work wonders when you're feeling weak. Alright. Mario. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? I'm afraid to rest in our house. What? You have to leave right now. Oh, shooting star summit? Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toe Town. I have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. You feel that quake? Shoot. I thought the, sc the sky was falling. Just relax. Don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. All right. Oh god, here we go. Save blocks. Hello. Oh, you look better, I'm so glad. Oh, it's, oh fuck. Okay, B just pretty much closed their dialogue. Good to know. I was the one who found you, you know, Mario, me. Goom, oh wait, Goombar, wait. I thought you called for Goom. Oh, wait, Goombaria and Goombario. I was in forest. I found you and I called Dad and Goomba and Goombario. And then they came and got you and I'm glad you're better. So you're Goombario? Yeah, okay. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. You have fucking side pincers? And sakes, Mario, you, it's so nice to meet you. My, I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. It's like, she looks like she has fucking bug mandibles. Or it's just because she has lipstick in between the teeth, and it's making, I don't know. Oh, look at this man. I like him. Oh, Mario, hello, dearie, you may call me Goomba. Oh, her, I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombario, why, she looks just like I did when I was young. Oh, you startled me, yes, Mario, isn't it? You've awakened at last, good. Do you pull through? Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. How you doing, Dee Dee? Oh, Mario, my dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. I guess now you can travel east of Toad Town and Shooting Star Summit, huh? Good job. Sorry to have kept you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. Too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you, but duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. E? Oh, okay. Ah, my instincts were right! Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. Oh, what's that? Dad, what's that weird flying thing? Weird, you rude little. I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Cammy Koopa. Hm. I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It's useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous, laughable. As you've seen, King Bowser's more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Well. <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. Hammy, huh? Oh, I just fixed that gate. Oh, he's angry. Nobody say gate to me. <laughs> Cammy Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. Oh, Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach again? Oh, unbelievable. Now you have to go to the Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else could do it. Uh, oh, here's an idea. If we can break this block with Goompa's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I do like that. Oh, I was gonna say, wait, what? Well, what's up? You good? Oh, my back. Hmm? Who's that? That you, Mario? I remember a, gr uh, a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door into thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is we can't get home because that block's in the way. This block. This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where'd it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Nowhere to be seen. I guess I must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we'd better go look for it. Okay. What else around here? The advantages of being paper, exactly. His little shuffle is, yeah, it's so good. The hammer has gotta be somewhere close by. Looks just like this. Uh, look for bushes that might cover it up. All right. Money. Plus, try to jump out of bounds and warp into the sky to get the hammer. Oh, yeah, 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 no problem. No problem. I'm just, <laughs> I'll get right on that. Aha! Oh, I can do the hammer attack now. 
You can smash a yellow block with this hammer. Well, there we go, that's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the block that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway sometimes. Stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. You'll say B being green? What is this? I was like, <laughs> I guess it's that color. It's like, all I remember is that the A button was blue. About mushrooms. Wait, they're not. We got the dolly, an adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Oh, well, now I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. I'd love to help be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know. It almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. Depth perception. What is? Oh, nothing. Okay. Twenty. Yeah. Time to hit every single tree. Oh. Well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Out. Who the fuck is this? Oh, you guys, this is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission, nobody. I had to start crying at the feet of Master Junior... Master Junior Troopa? Okay. All right, this is Junior Troopa. He was the boss of the neighborhood gang. Uh, a bit of a bully, obviously. It's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up. Don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. Excellent. Good move. Go on. <laughs> the thumbs up. I don't know. Is the like. Press A timing, is that in this game? Or did that start in Thousand Year Door? I'm just getting warmed up. Extra hands exist here, you just have it online. Okay, okay, I was wondering if I was just really bad. <laughs> Which is potentially the answer. Either I couldn't do them or they weren't in the game, but okay. All right, you've almost got them. Keep it up, go on. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Troopa special attack. Full power. Oh, fuck. I like his little feet scuttle though. Oh. There's a whole two. That was wonderful fighting. Uh, you got star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Always try hard to get points. Oh, okay. Fancy. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure this game tutorials you with action hands first. All right. Shoot, I was winning too. I'll be back, Mario. I mean it, I'll be back. Ooh. Oh. Can I? No. Oh, mushroom. HP restoration, you got an item. Use items in this game to attack enemies, to recover HP, and do a few other things. C-stick? 
Okay. <laughs> I was like, hmm. <laughs> I've hit this block. Your HP points will fully recover. Wait, did I, like, recoil? <laughs> I like that. Alright, what's this way? It's a Mario, I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. And they see you and attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to the battling. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So is this optional then? Ah, okay. Should have said, yeah, hammer works, just not yours, yeah. E. So is this not like, again, like, you're a Goomba, I'm about to kill a Goomba. I mean, he's not your family, but it's still a Goomba. Alright. Z. Which one's Z on this? I have ZR and ZL. Oh no, give it! If it's an in battle, I don't do anything yet, but. Oh. There's a spike Goomba. See the spikes on his head? Be careful not to jump on him, you'll definitely get hurt. Yeah, sorry, he was <laughs> literally about to. The enemy is flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne, or to attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. Jump over one enemy to attack one behind it too. This is a good advice. Remember. Uh, item storage in the game is really low. Worse than Pokemon Red and Blue. Oh boy. But key items don't fill your normal pocket. Well, that's a plus. Logic, he's a, ga a bandit Goomba. They point the helmets and attack you on sight. You're right. Star piece. Long star piece. Wait and see what this is for. Okay. It's like it's a revive. Yeah, exactly, Luma. <laughs> Hey boy, kids, here I am. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Goompa, where you been? I looked outside and, wow, you and the veranda were just plain gone. Goompa, I was very, very worried about you, really worried. Sorry, kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret and you just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, 
Before I forget, I decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Okay. No <laughs> multi-star piece, Max survived. Hey, that dolly you've got. That's the one Goombaria lost. She's looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Here you go. It's my dolly. You're back. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. My sweet dolly, don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present for me. Look at the pretty glitter. Oh, no, not glitter. Oh, all right, another revive. Never mind. And take this, too. <laughs> the fucking shiver. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goomba. Also, uh, and I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. This dude. Hey, Gumbario's head is hard as a rock now. When he does uh, his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Gumbario. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just recapping with Mario. Gumbario is a jock villager. Yup. A rapping? Huh? Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. Power jump badge. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. It's so called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well, you'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You'd better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson on how to use the badges you collect during your travels? Might as well, just in case. If I start, the menu will open. Use control stick to point badge. We got badge, spirits. Save button again to go to the list of all badges. Takes one BP. I see. Just now off. One BP is returned to you. Remember, you need FP flower points to use this power jump technique. Remember that you saw a block like this. These blocks restore not only HP, but also FP. Okay. The lifesavers, use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. By the by, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it up to yourself and trying to rescue Princess from Bowser's clutches? Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Mario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well if you, uh... If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. And have done some damage. The years started to weigh on me, though. I tell you, this lower back pain. <laughs> Adventures, you're so lucky. Princess Rescue is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer, too, someday. Me, too. Oh, uh, here's an idea. Good Mario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What, really? May I go, Goomba? May I really go? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Mario, you won't regret this. Can I wait for him to immediately get replaced? <laughs> oh, the little picture, though. Just down to have him tell you things about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Mbari was also helpful during battle. He can attack with head bonk, or he can tell you about an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Way to go, Gumbario! Mario, I know Gumbario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. This is so cool, Mario! Let's go! But wait, your HP looks a little low. Uh, maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. Toad's House slogan is, refresh your body. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, Tattle will help.
It's like, I remember a Goomba Companion and a Koopa Companion, and that's as far as I ever played. So everything else is blind. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, but try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. Calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the uh, badge Goomba gave you. Hey, told me to take it off during this tutorial. I forgot to put it back on. Well, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. Oh, okay. Beware of Goombas. In order to a battle, you can change the order we attack it with Z. Uh, hoping. And I'm using a Horty controller. It has two Z buttons. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't matter which. I can attack first if you want. Just don't mind at all. Just keep in mind, okay? And neither select. Okay, L and R, not Z. Or no, just L. Okay. Fellas, I only remember the ghost thing. I guess Vivian. Is I guess we'll find out. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait, I'm one of them. <laughs> Is there a flavor text for everything then? Okay. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense 0. You can jump on them and whack them with a hammer. You guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. Well, in that case, my comment earlier. If you pressed L outside of the battle today. Ah, okay. Uh, to be fair, N64 has four C buttons. Yeah, whenever they mentioned down on C, I was like, well, we have a C stick. I'm just gonna assume. Damn it. Oh, shit. Well. buttons for the C sticks precursor I keep reading that yeah okay and I was curious like I don't have to tattle every fight tattling once is like all right now I know that enemy awesome Oh, yeah, I did this on accident while, like, trying to just find... I don't I don't remember what I was trying to find. Oh. Looks like a dash. Fancy. We have become speed. Oh yeah, something new to tattle on, huh? Uh, see, abilities, tattle. The next game, I don't mean having the Goomba partner out for every boss. It's fair. It's a Paragoomba. Obviously, Paragoombas are Goombas with wings. You can't hit them with a hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and become ordinary Goombas.
How are we doing, Narzi? Oh god, okay. <laughs> we have become speed, but at a price. There's a spike Goomba. Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Thank you, Mario. If you do, don't jump on their spikes. You'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Paralyzed? Oh. How you doing, Dorian? Much later is the badge that'll replace him. Nice. Think of badges. Close call badge! Amara's a danger enemy sometimes fail to attack. Well? In the mushroom. Uh, what's my HP at? Oh, wait, did you know there are good Goombas and bad Goombas? A bad Goomba will try to pick a fight with us the second it spots us. Is there like a way that I can immediately. Okay, up on the C stick. Three? Probably fine. This is our Goomba buddy? Yeah, oh, there's three of them. We are not fine. <laughs> Take you out. Left close call range, and now we're right back in it. Should I happen to name the Goomba? No, his name's just actually Goombario. Uh, Ave! Thank you for the raid! Hope your stream went well. Ave! Hey, hey, hold it right there. Yeah, you, suspicious guy, don't move. Uh. Oh! Ah, uh, you're Mario, I knew it! You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from Goomba King, that's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba... Goomba Bros, that's me, Red Goomba. My brother, Go Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my Red Brother. Yeah, brother. Alright, I need the lore. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba bros. 7 HP, 1 attack. The Goomba King ordered him to try to stop you. You can take this guy, no problem. He has just a little more HP than any ordinary Goomba. I didn't- oh shit. 
fine. Mario, how'd you like some of this? Uh, I was like, yeah, well, I'll eventually get to Origami King. I've had the Paper Mario series on my to-do list, like, as they just play through the start all the way through for, I don't know, four years, five years now? <laughs> the time has finally come to at least start the first one. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba bros. Max HP 6, attack power 1. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. Pretty much the entire time you've been streaming. Even, I think, I think I wrote it down before I even started streaming regularly. When I was just doing YouTube stuff. So... Quite a while. It just died. Blue! Blue Goomba! My little brother! You'll pay for that, Mario! Oh no, oh shit. Well... Trauma. We'll put you out of your misery. <laughs> Sorry. I only had 5 FP. Let's see... You've beaten this, Smart RPG, and then Bowser's Inside Story. I played one of the paper... Not paper. One of the Mario and Luigi games as a kid. I can never get into those. So like Paper Jam, I I am excluding from the the whole playthrough Paper Mario thing since it's a Mario and Luigi game. Twenty. Redmond and Blue Targe. God damn it. Ah, I'll let you go for now. Aha. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Fuck. It's like perfect. I mean, I have mushrooms I could use, but that was one that I didn't have. It was essentially free healing. So can Gubari level up separately too? Uh, I don't know if he has a level. Oh, he dropped FP. Shit. Uh, let's see. Party. Check abilities. I don't know. Level up separately, kind of. <laughs> okay. Uma King's Fortress Ahead. Uma King, help us! Mario beat us up. Hey look, Mario, see that building over there? Pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Oh boy. Holy shit. So Mario, it's true, you've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, See to it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Not one step. You scared little man. 
Yeah, you're scared, all right? You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Wait, right now? Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You better be. Oh. Well, shit. Beat him up, King Goomba! You've got your back. Leave him to me. Uh, hey Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? It must be pretty weak since we just finished beating him up back there. Huh. All right, question is, do we survive? This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He's real powerful. Max 10 HP. Okay. Pack power 1. Okay, we should be fine. He's the boss of Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what make, uh, what he ate to become so big. I like to be a bit bigger, too. Peril. All right, all good. Fire flower coming through. Oh. <laughs> well then. All good. Hey, the close call. Head bonk. With the level, oh. HP, I feel, yeah. Yeah. Well, what, how could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool, victory! <laughs> you can see him. Oh. Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it. Oh no! <laughs> Good old paper. The windows fall off. <laughs> Look, the bridge! Now we can cross it and continue our journey! Alright. <laughs> Damn circumcision. God damn it. Oh! I'm not too worried about what's optimal. I never really care about that in any game I play. Do what feels right at the time. Super Shroom, a truly super mushroom, restores 10 HP. Oh. All right, another tree. Yeah, fun first. If optimal happens to also be the fun option. Happy coincidence.
All right. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. Set it for Toad Town now. But unbelievable, what's King Goomba thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. Mario whips him so easily. What a wimp. Demi Koopa, are you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits were, uh, we captured don't have any power, any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there. Can the Koopa Bros defeat him? Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hey yeah. Look at these dudes. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Gammy Koopa, are you sure these guys can't get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. We're nothing like him. So we've got... Uh, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the herd on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Sure, King. That special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh! That this is. Oh. <laughs> okay. How'd you like it, King Bowser? Was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really, I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if we finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. <laughs> By the way, my Koopa Bros. Uh, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiot, choose your heads. Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit. Incredible. Oh, what? A sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. Okay. Uh, thanks for that follow, Space Person. Alright, what do we got up here? Alright, I don't got a key. There is something there. Oh, no, 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 no. Dog button. Is the hitbox really shitty? Because I pressed A, I didn't see an exclamation mark pop up, so <laughs> if I'm actually able to open it, I guess I I barely missed the window. No keys are needed for chests? Alright, we'll try again. I press buttons, but... Alright, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Yeah, yeah, real quick. Okay. <laughs> 
Is it wasn't in the right spot. Can't open from the side. And I guess, uh, I probably pressed A, like, here on the front and not... Whatever, what do we got? Let's use a hammer throw. Well, this is RNG, and RNG hates me, so... Hello. Salutations, you are Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. As I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Are talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Oh, Jesus. And how about this? So it is told that far away at the very top of the sky, there exists a star haven where stars make their home. In star haven, there is a treasure called a star rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are uh, said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called star spirits. Using the magical star rod, these star spirits grant the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why, when we make a wish to the night sky and it comes true, it's all thanks to the star spirits and their star rod. If there's anything else you wish to know, please feel free to ask. Oh no, doom, danger, Princess Peach's castle float away up into the sky. No castle horrors, only a hole remains. Our beloved castle, where is it? Spread the word, outrage. Hello, friends. My dad works at castle, so he's not at home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home, I got scolded. <laughs> What's up with that? Princess Peach was kidnapped, so I'm gonna save her. But mom told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. How come? Earthquake when the castle blew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking, the ground, the houses, I fell right over. It was so horrifying that I... Uh, just like to forget it ever happened. Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home. Okay. Oh. Hey, Mario. Did you know that you can carry up to ten items? When you can't carry any more items, it's a good idea to go to a shop like this and ask them to hold items for you. You can even claim the items at any other shop. Pretty convenient, huh? Oh, ten. Okay. Honey. And ten coins for honey syrup. No, what, what does it do? Please come again. Wait. Did I buy it on accident? It made a sound like I, I bought it. Stores five HP. Or FP. Okay. Flip shell enemies and inflicts two damage points on all enemies. Sleepy sheep. Bright jar makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. I'll buy a power block. That sounds good. And a fire flower. Talk to that one. You don't have it? The degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. <laughs> I have it. I fought at the dojo over there and got it from the master. I'm one bad toad. Okay. Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. You can go home through that pipe in front of the main gate over there. All right. You get into the pipe by standing on the edge and pushing down on the control stick. Hey, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? I don't know you. Oh, 
What's going on over here? Who are you? Above, oh, okay, this little thing talks too. Above us, on the top floor, there's a dojo. We're here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo's closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We'll train again soon. The master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He's gonna come back a very, very strong man. We'll wait here, right here, until our master returns. Training is part of our training. Okay. The castle flew away. How could such a thing happen? What'll become of Princess Peach and the others who were in the castle? I'm scared. I'm scared. I. Fel Felicity. God damn it. I'm so scared. castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering and yet my heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love, and cares for you, none other. We are both wicked toads. Alright. <laughs> this is the west entrance to Toad Town, in case you couldn't tell. It's the main gates. Yeah, wait. Find a very smart toad named Rusty living in this town. He knows lots of useful information for adventurers. Also find shops and sell various items. Hey, there's also a dojo. Did it say down on the sea stick? I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Oh Mario, it's you, good to see you. Hello Luigi. And you're all right after all that castle craziness. I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. <laughs> and who are you? I'm Gumbario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after the house, so I can't leave. Oh, well. Take care of Mario, okay? <laughs> Poor Luigi. Here's the box where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. Okay. They're at peak strength. Do you still want to go to bed? No, we're good. Oh, stats! Look at that! Toads to talk to, all right. But. Ah! The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of the town, it seemed to rain wood. As a result, we can't get to the southern part of the town. The train station, the port, many important things lie south. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and to everyone. Go town newsflash. Princess Peach ca kidnapped, castle uprooted. Two days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and was presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown. Where the castle once stood, there's now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Hi, hey Mario. Where it is, you're needed on Shooting Star Summit. Have you ever been? Just go through that blue gate there and bear right at Peach's castle. Oops, I forgot. Peach's castle is gone. The building with the spinning roof is Merlin's house. 
He's weird. <laughs> he also happens to be as stubborn as a mule. He rarely comes out. As weird as he is, though, his talent is no joke. He can read the stars. He even predicted that you'd come back safe and sound. Post office. Did you get that blue pole in front of the post office? That's a road sign. You can find out what's where in Toad Town by checking out the signs. Am I telling you this for? I'm sure you know it's smart to read all the signs for yourself. Pleasant path. Look at these guys. Greetings! The name's Per... Paracary? Okay, I deliver letters. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for your other party members. Please drop by now and then and check and see if you've received any mail. Well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one you like to read? Red and blue Goomba, Goombario has a letter. Here you go. Goombario, you are a lot stronger than you look. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba Bros. Cute. <laughs> Wait, another shop? Do you sell different things? Oh, oh, this is an inn. Okay. Oh, I know, flower sign. <laughs> it's dangerous out there, I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. <laughs> okay. Look at Minty, always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me so happy. Uh, are you minty? Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Oh, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, uh, bubbles have only only the known seeds. This is what a bubble looks like. Okay. If you find a bubble, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in the flower garden and raise them lovingly. Okay. Is that a mole? Oh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> hey mister, you're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Rofe's the name? I'm starting up a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up, though. I want to see you back in here when we open, all right? Uh, okay, what? Sure. Uh, did we talk to the two roaming in the city up on Shooting Star Summits? There are these two siblings named Merlovely and Merlot. Merlovely tells fortune. She's really good at finding badges and star pieces. When you take star pieces to Merlot, he'll trade them for badges. These two can help, you know? You ought to go meet them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Smack this tiny tree. All right. Merlin is out. Well. well oh, hey, no, no, come here, come here. <laughs> These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when that earthquake hit. Fortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of the town with all this scattered wood. Don't worry, we're restacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. All right.
Oh boy. I can't believe the Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. And wow. I was in a castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with other, uh, maybe a few others, but everyone else is taken. Ooh, I like the purple here. Shooting Star Summit. Looking for something? Drop by Mer Lovely's place. But what's up here? Wait, let's go to Mer Lovely first. Was this the first time he took the whole castle? It's empty. Oh my my, hello there Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. Go snoo- oh. Gonna jump up every step. Hello! I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap them for some uh, cool badges. How about it? Let's swap. Which badge do you want to swap for? Attack FX? Change the attack sound effects? Oh man, cosmetic. Well. Cosmetics for audio. Payout. The more damage Mario takes, the more coins he receives. Chill out. Keeps you from being hit by a first strike. If we save more, pretty lucky. Makes enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while. RNG. Feeling fine. Protects from poison dizziness. Using the big screen controller? No, uh, I'm in Wii mode and I have uh, one of those like GameCube plug into your Wii mode things. Happy Heart restores HP automatically during battle at a slow rate. FP at a slow rate. Peekaboo makes it possible to see your enemy's HP. Ah! In battle, makes most enemies who touch Mario take damage. Zap tap. Ten, huh? Twenty five Jesus. Okay. The most important thing first. No, 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 I'm a, I'm a save. All right, now let's get our fortune told. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Mer Lovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you see. I was like, alright, uh, my twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? Oh, no. Oh, that's not the door. It's the door. I was like, yeah, the, the music here is so chill. Okay, not a euphemism. I mean, a 
Especially coming after... Hey, look at that. Telling us that she makes sure she is constantly ravishing. Can I hit these? Oh, they make so Soins, yep. Sounds. The one and only Soins. Oh, Mustache Man! I wasn't paying attention on the way up here, though. Okay, for good measure. Had to make sure I wasn't sit anything sitting there. Look, Mario, we've been waiting for you. Where are the Seven Star Spirits? Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasures, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser's been making wishes like for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser that fiend! When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. I like this guy and his angry eyebrows. We go fading, gonna go to bed. Alright, space person. Have a good night. I never never did wish for Peach to like him, right? In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly. Right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the star rod. He's terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Starhaven, he can give you the power to fight Bowser even with the newfound strength. Uh, with our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it's only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Pleasure, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. Oh, please, Mo okay. Uh... In order to take the Star Rod back from the Princess... Jesus. Back from Bowser and save the Princess... I thought he was saying bye. Fucking static and dyslexia is... They could be saying anything. I could be making everything I'm saying up. I don't fucking know. <laughs> we need your help. Please, Mario. You're our last hope, and we will... Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I really worry about her. probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? Don't use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? 
Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects will be so upset their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, princess. You better not cause trouble. RPG always seems so childish, yet so well executed gameplay-wise. They really, I mean, it's the Nintendo staple. They, they're they so good at hitting, like, that actually E for everyone. Instead of, oh, it's E for everyone, but, like, it's actually just, you know, like, licensed bullshit. Hey, here's a kid show. Hey, here's a video game of that kid show. Give us money. <laughs> Please, if only somebody could help me. Huh? Oh. Look at him, he's so small. <laughs> small. I was gonna say tiny and small at the same time, and just words didn't come out. Hello, Princess Peach, pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. Oh. Hmm. Was that slang back then? Did they foresee this? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that still like a, a term? I was like this game came out. It was pre two thousand, right? But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. Well, 2001? Oh, okay. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod, uh, star rod back from Bowser, okay? I think you can do it. <laughs> Uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that? I'm so sorry, please, ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? One of my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's all right. Don't be sad. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, do you do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. It's a lucky star, isn't it? His little faces. Okay, I'll do it, Princess, Pe uh, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait, just a second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now, uh, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? So, yeah, 2001. Yeah, if it was a term, yeah, it was definitely not. Yeah. I was having a localization. Yeah. Mario, where are you? All right. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. He's adorable, though. Oh, it, you're Mario, aren't you? I think the stars, I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. 
Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, here, this is it. Take this. Lucky star, a star-shaped pendant lets you use the action command. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's you, yours, you can use the action command. Can I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Let me explain. Let me see. Hang on, you, behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Goombario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. Oh. <laughs> oh no. First, Mario, choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Right now, just for stomping the enemy. I say it exactly this moment. When you see nice appear, it means you've successfully used the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombario, you try to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario. Right now. I say just before the attack strikes you. Yes, you've successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often, you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Let's choose an enemy to attack. Move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. All right, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure. <laughs> like now, beat him up. I meant, yeah, 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 exactly, Evie. <laughs> Practice it. You're done. End training command. All right. I was like, I wanna, I wanna do it. Almost. Okay. It was too early. The hammer one, easy enough. One in tutorial, I didn't actually do anything. <laughs> oh. Goombario strong like chestnut. Fucking hell. Like fucking, <laughs> it's like we just came out of Go Ghost of Tsushima. Gotta learn parry windows all over again. There's also the, I guess, potential. I mean, I'm using a wireless controller on the Wii U in Wii mode. I mean, it's saying I'm, I'm hitting it early, so I don't know if latency is the issue here. That was too late.
Still late, fuck. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to do, whether it comes out or not. We just won't bank on it, right? Oh, this is the hammer. The hammer one's free. Here you are. Hello. What, it can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Magic Koopa. Tattle. Uh, have a good night, DD. Appreciate you sticking around. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Okay, I mean he has one HP left anyway, so it's like hammer time, but you're dead. It doesn't matter <laughs> Well done Mario, you're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser I'm gonna return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell you tell her you're okay. Oh well, Mario, see you later. Welcome back. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you a message from Princess Peach. I'm all right, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling though, she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. All right. Uh, let's see. If I remember right, they were hitting me. 64, that's your door. Really tweak things to be just right. And of course, like any sane game dev, couldn't figure out how to make it better and threw the whole thing away for the sake of innovation. Damn. Oh, Mario! Merlon was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlon to actually call over to someone to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he's visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. I was like, this, um, the action commands? Like, fucked with me for every video game I've, like, I, I played for years. Like, Radiant Dawn, my first time playing that game, I was convinced if I hit a button at the right time, because it coincidentally happened so many times, I would dodge or crit. And it's all Thousand Year Door's fault. <laughs> Wait, where'd you say he was? Keep not. Oh. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh. 
Maybe no. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. I tell you to not die. Yeah, I was convinced. But it's more so like I used the crap out of Soth and Velug, who are just fucking incredible. So. <laughs> It was just like, yeah! That's how it works! I mean, it's kind of like the, you know, the old, like, press A with the rocks of the Pokeball, or, you know, down and B, whatever your playground guaranteed catch strategy in the old Pokemons were. But having that mechanic actually in an entire RPG just was like, yeah, this is right. This is every game, right? <laughs> Where do we begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days, when my ancestors was up uh, on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly a great appeared and I, standing face to face. Then, the far away, the pious, which raised me up, it was amazing. I was still so young then, I believed in, but our hearts were. And then, so, Braille. That is all that matters. Oh, uh, hey! Mario, were you listening to me? Oh, all right. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible, but according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Alright. Heal me, friend! The only playground rumor I heard was breeding two dittos gave you any mon at random. I spent so many hours trying that. <laughs> really? I never heard that one. God damn. Oh, I just realized, like, what is this sound? That's what our new uh, <laughs> sound effects are. I didn't pay attention to what our new jump sound was. You don't want to go out there, it's way too dangerous. Definitely don't go. Most of all though, you shouldn't go and ask old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us, I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of, never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there, I'll see what's going on. Oh no. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. Hmm. You aren't, uh, you aren't toads, are you? Um. We don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone, we're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. <laughs> just as I thought, you're the Koopa Bros. Wow, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green, we retreat for now. 
Fireless imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange, uh, portent? In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Old friend, relative, did show me the Gen 2 glitch method, though. It worked until it didn't anymore. The only uh, glitch I knew about was duping mons in the Gen 2 boxes. Which is super easy. Chapter 1, E. Doing Graham, game is working well, right? Yeah, it's not emulated though. <laughs> I'm using an actual Wii. Well, Wii U in Wii mode. Oh fuck. This is a Koopa Troopa. Everyone knows Koopa Troopas are Bowser's followers. Max 54, attack power 1, defense power 1, their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to zero, and it will become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with a POW block or a jump attack. Soft underbelly. And then just fucking squish. Nice. Half the false rumors weren't believable in the actual glitches of the game. It's fair. It was the duping glitch. Oh, nice. There was a Gen 3 dupe glitch as well? Oh. Gen 3, for me, uh, was pretty much when... Like, it was kind of with Gen 2 a little bit, but it was really in Gen 3, when it was just like, there's no one... If Pokemon's not cool to play, I don't have anyone to talk to about this game anymore. So that was my last gen until the uh, heart gold uh, wasn't that far, but it was a few years I stopped. And then heart gold soul silver came out. I was like, oh shit. No, I gotta play that. Hey, let's go. Oh, it's like fucking like a radish. Dizzy attack rat. <laughs> Dizzy attack radish. That's what it says. Badge delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. I wasn't, like, able to talk freely about Pokemon with people until, like, my junior year in high school. Which, I graduated in 2012. It's like 2010, 2011. So from, like, the end of Gen 2 days... All the way to 
2011. It was pretty much around like when Black and White 2, I think. Oh! Came out. I think that was around then. Like, I remember, like, after we had cars, like, me and my one friend would be like, oh, GameStop's doing, like, they, like, did the... <laughs> one word at a time. They did the shiny, um... The fucking dogs event. So you could get the legendary jar or time jar for Gen 5. So we would drive up to GameStop after school with our DS's, and then <laughs> get the, the mystery gifts. God, you guys are fast! Ah. No. No damage, but all right. Got into Pokemon in Gen 5. Interesting. It was when you got your first console. That wasn't my brother's beforehand. The Game Boy Advance SP, so I'm gonna lose my first Pokemon game. Yaha! Oh, I see the spiky Goomba on top of that block. I mean, I'm still gonna break it and fight him, but I see him. My first Pokemon game technically wasn't even real. God damn it. What place I wanted that. But play oh, I didn't need it, apparently. Or was it my first? No, I think the first one is real. I'm not able. Oh, I guess I can jump over, but I can't hammer through. Okay. Um, so my first, I got. Uh, I believe Pokemon Blue? And then Yellow. I got a bootleg version of Yellow. Because I booted up the game. And I didn't have Pikachu following me. And I was just like, Dad, what the fuck is this? I was like, oh. Because he just was getting games super cheap. Which is why I also have like Pokemon Green in English. So, <laughs> first Pokemon game I saw was on the TCG. Oh, the TCG Pokemon game is so good. That's a good Pokemon spin. Fuck, good Pokemon spin-off title. Hey, I got one. There we go. All 
Alright. We get it. Hey. Welcome back, Lamp. Oh, okay. I was like, well, who's back here? Honey syrup. Are they... Are they following... Oh, shit. This one's fucking watching me. Sounds. Wait, I can have, wait, changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. I can have them both at the same time? So does it change when both are in the same time, or? Hold on, let's see. What if we remove A? No. Got the, oh, that was an order thing? <laughs> oh. this forever and ever? <laughs> I was like, what about the other way? Snapping peaks all the time. I say minus the video games. Just say they have a 64. Can it be? Hey Mario, welcome to Koopa Village. We wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You, do you know what fuzzies are like? Don't or you do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys. They're really naughty. Oh, fucking gremlins. Oh! Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell! Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? 
Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Dried mushroom. One HP. Very dry. Okay. Thanks, Mario. This shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Are you a worm? I don't like that. Chuck Quizma's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. You can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then. Yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? Let's go to the question. The whole audience and everything. Question. What is the name of Gumbario's younger sister? Gumbaria. Oh, look at the little heart toad. I like the heart toad. I don't like the, the worm though. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. You correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. Huh. Okay. <laughs> oh. You must listen. The Koopa Bros in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, laborers have no rights. I will never, ever go back to work in such a terrible place. Or bomb You can hear him outside. Or bomb -ons. We just ran away from the Koopa Bros Fortress. We thought we'd at least find some peace here in the village. Boy, were we wrong. The Fuzzies are running around wild here. All we want is a little peace. Supposedly these bomb -ons recently ran away from the Koopa Fortress. Of course, things aren't much better here in the village. The Fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bomb -ons. Not me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the Fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. I know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. No, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. The Golden Oldie Station. Information Station. News Flash. Fuzzies are running rampant in Koopa Village. Officials advise extra caution when traveling in and around the village. Huh. Okay, let's see. The heart toad's name is Vanity. I'm spelling New Horizons 20 years early. I think there's a hundred questions in the game. Oh lord. Looking for a Koopa with a blue shell? I bet you mean Cooper. I think he's at home now. Look for a house with a green roof, okay? I guess there's more to Koopa Village than... Ah, huh, okay. Your fuzzy won't beat me! Behold my power! Ah! How is that? Superpower, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, my God. 
Ah, oh, help him. He's so sad. You're on your own, bud. <laughs> What's there? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, wait. Could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are. My name's Cooper. I'm so excited to meet you. I was no psych to meet you. That's meaning here. It's gotta be fate or something. I need a huge favor. Hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Mario? Looks like he's in a bad way. Uh, we ought to help him out. Oh, see, I took my shell. It's just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like... Bump. This is a fuzzy. Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out. My sack, or my H, okay, three, one, zero. The problem with fuzzies is their quickness. It's really tough to time their attacks. If they latch onto you, watch out. They'll absorb your HP. Figured it was on the damage number. Yeah, you can defend, it's just a timing thing. Probably can't get that right now. All right. Get it if you can. the trees harder. Not bad jump, but that was just a warm-up. Oh boy. Guess where I'm hiding. Hello, Piku. York, York, you got me twice. 
Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. Oh boy, okay. Oh no! I give Uncle here take the stupid shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what's what. I already got the shell back. Oh, yes, yes, this is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got my shell back, uh-huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was an egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think, could I? Please take me with you, Mario, I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Oh, yes, yes, I'm on my way! I swear, I'm- uh, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the Earth. Press down to make him throw himself and reach an item or a switch in the distance. While in battles, he can attack an enemy on the ground with shell tops. Or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partner, press... Whatever direction that is, right, and <laughs> select the member you want to use. On. Alright. Oh. York. I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? FP. Ooh. Well. I got one of them. Or just do the same thing. Oh wait, I can't. Shit. Uh... Oh, okay, perfect. Oh yeah, the next level, definitely going to FP. Oh no, we'll be good, we'll be good. All right, now, oh. HP plus badge, increase the max HP by five. Solid, but how costly? Three, oh, now I'm good. But also... Okay. Thank you. 
Hey, you did it. The buzzers are gone now. Who? Tell the truth, though. It's a bit boring here now. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Coot. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation is so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but perhaps just one little one. Could you borrow the, le uh, the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't a trouble, please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? Okay. Oh, well, Cooper is gonna go on Mario's adventure? How cute. Take care. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder, are you? Mm, right, Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let that old Koop work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's known to do that. He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyway, I'm right here for just a moment. I'll go poke around my husband's bookshelf. Oh, damn it, Dory. <laughs> Found it! You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It's behind the bookshelf. It's strange, that book it has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shells in 30 days? Oh, okay. <laughs> Great galloping Goombas, you're a lifesaver, Mario. This is just what I needed. To show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. What luck, you came at the perfect time! A very kind of you, I guess the younger generation is so bad after all. Well, the young fella, I don't usually ask favors, but lately I've been sleeping poorly. I love sleepy sheep to help me catch a little shut eye. There should be a shop in Toad Town that sells them. My stars, you're a veritable hero, Mario. Finally, some peace and quiet, sweet dreams, here I come. Take this as a small thank you. Oh, take this too. Did you know that there's a playroom in Toad Town? Remember right, it used to be around the station. It's strictly for members only, so the entrance uh, to it is well hidden. Bet you couldn't find it. I bet you could find it, though. This here's a silver credit. It'll let you play once you're inside the playroom. Back in my heyday, I used to go there and make a lot of money. But I got tired of the hoopla. The silver credit's yours. Good luck. Make some money. The card Koopa Coot gave you, use it to play in the playroom. Okay. I swear that we're having... Mm, I can't think of any favors I need at the moment. I bet I'll need one later, though. Uh... Okay. This Colorado is a famous archaeologist from here. He's been back from here since so houses he went to dry, dry desert. Mr. Colorado's wife is always worrying about him. We live in that house over there with the yellow roof. Let's see. Wasn't there. Let's see, there's the shop. Anything fancy? Oh, what is that? Dizzy dial. If it if it works, dazes and paral paralyzes all enemies briefly. Ooh, bolt shroom. Electrifies Mario briefly and damages enemies who touch him. I'll take one of those. Dry Dry Desert. Oh, is that the first instance of Dry Dry Desert? It's just, it's just like every desert in Mario game. 
Got me. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Oh, shell on shell crimes. How how's this do? shall I guess there we go oh we're so close to a level up thunderbolt can't carry any more items throw an item away to make room oh boy lightning strikes one enemy for five damage get rid of the dried shroom Oh, and you throw it on the ground in case you're like, no, 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 I, I, I take it back, give it. No entry allowed, Mario. Yours truly, the Koopa Bros. Oh, not what I expected, that. Paratroopa, got a tattle on it. This is a paratrooper. No surprise here. Paratroopers are Koopa Troopers with wings. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. When you jump on them, you use a power block. Or use a power block, their wings fall off and they become normal Koopa Troopers. It's easy to beat them once they're normal Koopa Troopers. Give them another jump attack. They think they're pretty cool because they wear sunglasses, but they're not that tough. I'm like, yeah, the, the Koopas in this game. Sunglasses and spike collars. Can you kill? Hey. <clears throat> yeah, they gotta differentiate the bad from the good Koopas, I guess. Arriving early. Thursday, August 13th. Oh shit! I ordered something that said, yeah, it'll probably be here like August 27th through like September 1st. But I just gotta the tracking so no it'll be here tomorrow it's like oh shit i was like it's coming from out of the country so i fully expected it to be here next month I think I talked about at one point. I need to be careful because it is. Hold on. It is a gift, but I know the person who it is for sometimes lurks. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this in cancer. But it is 
so cool that this is an official thing. Well, yeah, just on, on, on the off chance, I can't see the viewer list on the dashboard. Oh, I forgot to switch back. Oh, we should level up from this, though. The double nice. Oh, I, I think I'm gonna stop right outside. I guess it depends. Only have two. We might not level from this. Oh shit, wait, I can do that in mid part. Oh, oh. Well, all right then. In 98. Fuck. Four damage. I should be safe without healing. Especially with the nice. And then a power shell. There's only one thing can attack. He's not doing four damage to me. Use your turn for it. That's what it seemed like, yeah. Yeah, it just takes your turn. Which is fine. Changing mid battle is nice. So whenever I like run into a boss and then realize, oh shit, I need my Goomba friend here. I didn't know we were gonna fight a boss. There we go. Yeah, we're we're gonna double our FP. The like BP. Doubling BP would let me put on the plus 5 HP, but I need FP. The very least. I am worried about the thing I ordered though, because they, whenever I bought it, the person uh, messaged me and was saying the last person in the US that bought this, it arrived cracked. As a heads up. I was like, oh shit. Uh, they said they're gonna take it out of the box and try to, like, actually package it better. I was like, that's cool, as long as you keep the original box with it. I just wanna, you know. Okay. As long as it arrives in one piece, do what you need. I was just thinking about a save too. Perfect. There's also a badge where it does not take up a turn when switching partners. Whoa, Mario, what the? We're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader, Red Koopa. I feel like okay, we're about to start a whole a whole dungeon. And it is 10. It's like a good time as any. Yeah. 
with a save spot. Uh, just going up to 10 feels so nice, yeah. Order a cat litter for Abby, so we have to go out and get it. The box out of three were damaged, so goddamn bad bag split open. Along the top, the bottom, where the bag is sewn shut. On the side, there's just cat litter everywhere. I feel like this. Well, I'm in a completely different scene, so I don't have the the thing set up anyway. But layout game. Not the best for the for the transparent thing. Uh, but yeah, give me a few minutes. We'll get back to it. And we'll take on this uh, Fort Koopa thing. Whatever.